right, good morning everyone. It's my morning day of surgery. It's the morning, my surgery. That didn't make any sense. It is the morning of my surgery. Um, my surgery is today at 11.30. I'm about to get ready. I'm about to get in the shower, take a shower with antibacterial soap. Um, they said no lotion, so I might like sneak a little serum and a little bit of moisturizer on my face. No, no moisturizer. Y'all want me to be dry? Ew. Um, I'm a little nervous, but I'm excited. Um, it's nice down here in Miami, of course. Uh, I wish that I could enjoy it, but this virus uh, is preventing that. Um, but yeah, so I have some mixed emotions this morning. I'm talking to my mom. She's on the phone in the bathroom. You can probably hear it. Hold on, mom. Um, I talked to a couple friends and a couple other people. You know who you are. No, I'm kidding. Um, I'm about to take these piercings out, try to take, um, my acrylic nail off. And, yeah, I'll, um, my recovery house is coming to pick me up to take me to the surgery center. I'll record that. I'll try to record as much as I can. I'm going to put on a dress to wear to surgery with these slides. I'm going to be looking like a pack of Skittles. Um, this isn't a hot girl trip. Well, this is a trip to come into my full form of hot girlness. You feel me? Um, but make sure you guys... Uh, stay tuned for episode two. This is surgery day. Um, I'm gonna try to record as much as I can post up. I know I'm gonna be in pain. I done took a Ducalax just in case I get a little constipated so I can go to the bathroom. And um, I have my antibiotics, I have my pain medication. So we are on and good to go. Stay tuned. So maybe if I sit down. Okay, now the sun is in my eye. I'm trying to get some good light in, but I just took most of my piercings out, my nipples, my ears. I gotta still get my tragus out. Um, I have my hair and some little meeks, some straight backs. I got on this sundress um, that I got from like City Trends. Okay, there we go, you guys can see me. Um, I'm waiting for my ride to come get me the recovery house and gonna go to surgery. I'm, I definitely have like bubble guts. I'm nervous. Um, I can't believe like this is happening. This is something that I've been wanting to do. Um, so yeah, stay tuned. I guess I'll um, come back when my uh, recovery house comes to pick me up on my way to the surgery center and then I'll record some more. All right, be back guys. Okay, so I decided to show you guys my before. This is my before. <laughs> I know I looked a little snatched, but not really. This is before. So, I hope this dress is loose enough. Like, this was the biggest one they had. So, but them yiddies is sitting right though. Ooh. No, I'm kidding. But, yeah, okay. Now, oh, let me. Now, oh, zoom out my face. Don't, don't zoom in like that. All right, now I will be um, waiting for my ride. I'm watching Grey's Anatomy, trying to calm my nerves. And um, yeah, uh, there goes some lighting. So I hope you guys continue to watch. Make sure you watch episode one. I'm gonna try to have this episode up as soon as I can because I know I'm gonna be in pain after surgery. So I don't know how well I'll be able to edit. But um, make sure you follow me on Instagram, follow me on Twitter, andybomb.com. Uh, yeah, I'll be back. Bye, guys. So, I'm in the car. We're vlogging. We're about to pull up to 305. Um, and get this surgery done. Let me try to turn the camera around. Let's see. There it is, right there. It's so beautiful down here, y'all. I need to move to Miami. I love Miami. All right, here we go. We're here. Oh my God. We are here. That girl is leaning on Dr. Bass's car. I'll she lost her marbles. Ooh. She right, sure mama. has. All right, Mama Cetus. All right, do I just take my baby to Sonia Fry? I am here. Um, the light. Oh, here we go. I'm here. I'm about to get a survey in about a couple minutes. Got to fill out some paperwork. All right. Happy it. 
Okay, this is my super rush our day. We are getting surgery by the same doctor, same day. We're staying together at the same recovery house. And we're here at 305, waiting to get, you know, be snatched, be tooted and booted for the summer, hot girl summer 2020. <laughs> All right, we'll be back. All right, y'all, I'm in a pre op room, about to get marked up. I'm nervous, it's time. I've been waiting on this and I'll see you guys on the snitch side, I guess, or unless Dr. Bass lets me record. And yeah, I'll be back. All right, y'all, so I can record a little bit more. I ended up getting my piercing out, but we're gonna have to try to get that baby back in. Um, waiting for Dr. Bass to come in here and mark me up. I'm in my full surgery gear. Um, got on my compression stockings. And yeah, um, gonna wait for Dr. Bass to come in here, see if I can record a little bit more for you guys. But I'm trying to document as much as possible. I'm gonna be on the snatch side. I'm a little, I'm a little nervous and anxious and scared. But prayers up, I'm gonna be okay. And all right, see y'all soon. We'll probably see y'all in a minute. <laughs> So I'm all marked up, ready to, I don't even know if it caught that part. I'm all marked up, ready to go. I have some IV fluids, some lactate ringer going in. I haven't drank anything, like, besides a sip of water since last night. So I'm extremely thirsty. This is to rehydrate me. Um, I want a cheeseburger right now. I want a steak sub. I want a chicken hoagie, turkey hoagie. I want Chick-fil-A. I want pizza you name it i'm so hungry i can't even think straight but um dr bass came in and marked me up then i just talked to the, to the anesthetist um waiting to go in waiting for the room to be completely sterilized um and dr bass thinks that I'll, I'll be a really good case um they took some pictures of me for uh the marketing i guess they're gonna post me and I do want to say that Dr. Bass is really, really nice in person. He's just as a, as nice in person as he is over the phone or over social media. Um, I, he answered every question that I had, even though I didn't have many questions. Um, he's very informative, very honest, um, very uh, a great communicator. So, um, yeah, I'm happy that I picked him. Uh, the young lady from my recovery house she says that you know she loves 305 over all of the other plastic surgery centers down here in miami she feels like 305 really takes care of their patients and it's a good facility overall um and she really likes dr bass and dr william so um, i'm very happy with my choice so far i'm a little nervous like i'm getting i'm sitting here i'm getting jittery i'm like it's about to happen um yeah i can't believe this uh, i can't believe that all the stuff in new york state is shut down as far as salons and stuff go i mean i can't believe it but i'm like dang i'm about to be ugly and luckily i got my lashes done but my nails raggedy my feet look raggedy luckily i just got a wax like oh my gosh but yeah that's not important right now the, what's important is the health and the safety of the world right now not my nails and my feet and my lashes and my hair and my wax and everything else as long as my skin look good but i'm happy that you guys are interested in my journey to the snatch side um make sure you keep watching um i wish this was kind of like a live so i could answer some questions right now because i am so anxious right now i'm anxious i'm lightheaded I'm hungry as hell. I'm thirsty as hell. I'm ready to get this over with. Um, it's beautiful down here in Miami, like I told y'all before. I wish that I didn't have to go back home. Don't let me. No, I ain't gonna say that because I'm be mad as hell if I can't go home and be stuck here. It'd be different if I lived here. Um, I had to make sure I wasn't covering the speakers on this joint. Um, but yeah uh Chardé surgery it's a little bit later in the afternoon um and we will be on the snatch side on the on the finer side shout out to my z5b you know they're so sweet uh yeah i guess i'll stop talking now i'm nervous i'll see y'all soon bye <laughs>
go there sexually with someone before you marry her? Recovery. It's a tough one. Trust. That's the rest of your life. I'm vlogging. <laughs> yeah. I've been paying, y'all. It was cold as hell. Waking up. I expect to be pleased. My booty man, And I expect to please her. But I care. I'm trying to <clears throat> choose the person that I will spend the rest of my life with without even knowing what with. this person looks like. Or they hit my butt in surgery. Crazy. Does size matter or is it the motion in the ocean? So guys, this is post-op day number one. As you can see, I'm bloody as hell. Um, when I woke up from surgery, it was so cold. Um, I went to recovery. And my recovery house came to pick me up. And I ate some dinner. Like I was doing good for, to, to had just had surgery. I ate, I took some medicine. And I laid down on my stomach. So now we're about to go to the post stop. Oh, about to go to the post stop. And I look crazy right now. <sighs> so, I'm about to get my first massage. It's a recovery house that I'm staying at. Let's see, she's dressed. She's been taking care of. Oh my God, no, I look you look good. I don't know why. It was good. He said everything looks good. One of my um incisions was like open. That's why I was draining so much. Oh, that's good. Yeah. This is a, a bomb recovery house. She's been helping take care of us. Hi. It's beautiful down here in Miami. It's 27 degrees in Buffalo. And. This is gonna be my massage therapist. I'm kind of nervous to take to get this massage. I ain't gonna lie, but yeah, they feed us, help bathe us, wash our stuff. They're so sweet and funny. Um, yeah, I'm staying at Perfect Sculpture, um, Perfect Sculpture Recovery House. I'll link their Instagram in this video. So yeah, I'm I'm feeling I'm feeling better today. My booty doesn't hurt as much. Um, I took my fire off and I saw my results. I'm still swollen, but the results do look good. Oh my gosh, there's no light that way. Still got my mix in. Got to put my piercings back in. I need to. I should do that now. So I need some chapstick. Good Lord, I ain't need to do my skincare routine. This is all. This is the struggle, baby. But, all right, I'll be back. So, I just got my first massage. It felt good, but I was sore at the same time. Um, I'm draining a lot, like a lot of um, blood, um, which is normal, but I'm draining a lot. So I'll probably get another massage tonight. Um, I got a little lightheaded during my massage. But you can definitely tell the difference. I'm still swollen, but um, you can you can tell the difference with the massage. It felt good. Um, it just felt like you know when you're sore, like say you worked out and somebody's massaging you, like it hurts, but it feels good. Um, I'm a little lightheaded right now, or a little dizzy, a little nauseous. About to eat some lunch, probably lay down. Um, I leave tomorrow. Trying to decide if I want to leave at. 1 50 p.m. or 10 30. Um, I'm gonna see, I'll know by later today. And about to put this fire hot back on, put my compression stockings back on, um, and the foams. And yeah, so I'll be back just healing. Um, I know everybody's asking me to post pictures. I'm gonna post, I can't even take pictures right now. So, yeah. And my girl Jazz, she's been helping me out. I love it here. <laughs> if you come to Miami, you need a recovery house. I definitely suggest. Mommy, I'm, gonna get the I can wash. Um, I'm gonna wash these, okay? Sorry, okay. I just no, you're fine. Video. No, you're fine. This is a vlog. This is real life. This is reality TV. This love is blind. Oh, I love this show. Um, I only have. This. You have nothing dirty to wash. Yes. Um, yeah. Can you give me a second, please? I'm wrong. I'm not gonna wear that. I know I have some socks. Where is it? That's a t-shirt somewhere. Oh. I don't know where I put it. Maybe it's in there. Oh, it is that black t-shirt right there. You wanna wash it? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna put 
bleach your sandals? Mm -hmm. Disinfect them? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank Ooh. you. Oh. Don't worry. Okay, mm -hmm. mommies. Thank you. You see how nice she is. She's walking my clothes out in. Do you think um, Shannon, the Sharday, has anything? She might. I don't know where it's at, though. Her robe. I know her she, robe was filled with. Um, she probably got it. So, yeah. Sorry, you guys you see. Watch this if you want this. Yeah, I'm about to eat lunch. And I'll be back. Oh, yeah. We are at the Baja store. So oh no, mama's You great. look no, you no. look fine. I don't know why she she's Mama she was, look at her. I haven't even had time to no, she I looks went to fine. a beauty parlor she's yesterday. Beautiful. Well you guys were in surgery just to hurry up and and it was closed. I was like, oh, they were closed, God, they I'm opened for us. I got two for us. Yeah. <laughs> Where, what is it called? In Mundo de la Faja. Mundo de la Faja. Mundo de la Faja. Okay. This is a spot in Miami when they open back up. <laughs> So Tell them how like they, they just opened for you. Yeah, they did. They opened for us. So I have on my for her. Huh? Girl, right. I got on a tux pad, for her phones, diaper. I've been leaking a lot. I'm very swollen. Very swollen, but I'm happy. My booty swollen now. Them yitties is sitting though. And I just got a massage. Them sizes ain't no joke. Okay, like, it definitely get the, the fluid out. But what, baby? I stayed there like, oh my God. So, probably about to eat dinner in a second. Yeah, I'll take my ass to bed. My neck hurt for some reason. Okay, so, it's post out day two. My lip is swollen. I think they hit my lip when, like during anesthesia or something, or flipping me, or something. But I just got done with my third massage, and that dream's about to take me out. I'm getting ready to leave, about to fly back to Buffalo. I know everybody has been wanting pictures, but I'm so tired and drained and swollen. It's hard to stand up, like stand up straight to get a picture. I can't wait for this part to be over. I don't know how people do multiple rounds of this. Shout out to y'all for being able to do that. Um, um, I did stay at Perfect Sculpture Recovery House with um, with Myra and Jasmine, and they were great. Um, I really enjoyed my time here with them. They were very accommodating. They were very, um, very great caretakers. My lip looked like somebody just. Um, my hair look crazy right now, still. I'm about to put on this faja, oh my God. Wearing a faja is torture. I'm about to pop a Xanax for this flight. I wish I didn't have to wear the faja. I'm draining a lot. I'm ready to get home. Even though it's 29 degrees there. I ain't ready for 29 degrees. But I'm ready to get home and lay down and just sleep. Like when I stand up for a long time, I get dizzy and lightheaded. And I'll be feeling like I'm gonna pass out. Whew, I can't wait for the soreness to go away. It's not agonizing pain, but it's definitely, like I'm really, really, really sore. I have on a diaper right now with some chucks pads because my thigh is in the dryer. Um, I mean, I guess I could try to show y'all real quick in the mirror. No, I ain't gonna show y'all. That's a little too personal so hopefully this video will be up by tonight or tomorrow i'm sorry y'all it's just i'm so tired but it's gonna be up thank you for watching make sure you subscribe to my channel i probably um do another video when i get on the plane so i don't know why i'm talking like this one might be over but god damn they look a little bit crazy Alright, be back soon guys. So, I'm at the airport. I have wheelchair assistance. I'm starving. Um, waiting to board this flight. Sitting on the BBL pillow. Have my bobby pillow. I'm tired. So yeah. And my lip is busted. Wow. I just wanna go to sleep. I'll be back soon.